Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Isaac. We're jumping in again for another character, character, show, show, show. another character showcase. This time from the Kicks and Giggles mod and this is Wayne. This character is all about smashing with a hammer. We can either double tap to do a smash or we can hold to do a hammer spin. A pretty cool idea. Uh, as I said before, this mod is a pretty big one. It adds four new characters, each with tainted versions and a bunch of new items. So we'll see what we get into. I'm uh, pretty excited about this one. It seems like a fairly strong character. Oh, damn. We can also do a, a charge hammer swing there as well. Okay. Interesting. So I wonder what do, uh, the difference is between the... Okay. I see. Okay. So we've got multiple levels of charge that we can go for here. So let's, let's check this out. So we've got one charge, two charge, and then all the way up to three charge. It does like a sort of dark hammer. That's an interesting one. Let's try and... It does slow us down with each incremental usage. But let's see exactly what that does. Okay, that does a lot of damage. Okay. I don't think there's a way that we can destroy rocks with this, unfortunately, which is kind of fair. And I believe our trinket is going to give us a bit of luck increase. And it also increases our um, like amount of attraction of pickups, which is nice. I say increases. It just adds... Pick up attraction, I think. No? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it did. Okay, cool. I think that's just because this character's big. So much mass. Yeah, I'm liking this already. So this character just comes built in with a lot of uh, a lot of damage. Um, so this, this character seems like it's going to be pretty good. I'm guessing the hammer's damage will scale off of our damage stat as well. My god. Although, as you can clearly see... Close range is the name of the game here, and that is putting us at significant risk. So we're going to want um, as much health as we can get, and realistically, some on-hit damage effects would be really, really nice as well. Uh, our tears are pretty inconsequential, to be honest. I'll take some pills. Tears down. I don't think tears down matters that much. Speed down's really annoying, though. I don't think tears down matters that much um, in the grand scheme of things, because I think the hammer... Oh, there you go. We just got some tears Any anyways. There you go. Wow, that was a lot of tears. Okay. Our tears looking good. So does that does that increase our charge? Okay, no, it does increase our charge rate by a significant amount. So tears are important. Um, but we just got a very good one. It's accuracy down, but we literally don't care about the accuracy. And we got a bomb here as well, which is going to make it nice and easy for us to crack that open. And do you know what? Got our bomb back and a half soul heart is not bad. Um, so I'm going to get a full charged hammer going into this boss. I, I really want to see what the damage levels of this boss, uh, of this uh, charge attack are. Oh my god giddy god. <laughs> wow. Okay, and also we got a huge damage up there as well. I mean, we might have a damage multiplier as this character. It says times one, but that, that was a lot of damage to gain from that. Um... Yeah, that was nuts. <laughs> we just one-shot the boss there. I mean, obviously, it is a stage one boss, so I'm not expecting it to be super difficult, but, like, still. That's wild. I really like this spin attack, because we can, like, move really fast just after it. So we charge, and then they spin into an enemy. This is a really, really fun character design so far. I'm really liking it. Visually, the character's pretty, pretty interesting as well. I like it. Um, ooh. Good stuff. Ooh, extra range. I think that might increase our hammer spin range. Extra range again. Um, okay, so our range has just increased by a significant amount. So I do wonder if that's increased our hammer swing range at all. If it doesn't, that's fine, but it, it definitely feels like it should. Okay, so the second level of, of charge hammer, I'm not that interested in. Like, it's just sort of a short range bash. I think if you're going to charge that much, you might as well go all the way and do the third level. I think first level charge is going to be mainly what we use in the double tap. And then for bossing, we're probably going to use the, the three-pronged approach. I just love that speed boost you get. It'd be really nice if we could boost our speed a little bit, though, because at the minute we got a speed down. So we can boost our speed even more. But it kind of feels like you know, there's a spin-to-win active item. It kind of is remnant of that, and I like that idea. That's a, that's a pretty interesting idea to attach onto this. Hello, good sir. How are you? How are you? We don't have enough to uh, purchase your little boat trip at the moment, but we'll maybe come back to you. That's from the Samuel mod, for those of you that haven't seen that before, but I imagine many of you that are here probably already have. Ooh, that was kind of close. Okay. I do, I can't remember, I do actually have tears as well. Can you not do that twice in a row? Or could at least you get over here? Really? Three times in a row? I, I need to be able to move my good guy. Right, let's just go do the boss now. Right, let's get this charged up. Because I want to see if we can kill other bosses in one hit. Oh my lord. I love that. 
Okay, so as much as I was saying I want help, you know what? No, I was gonna say as much as I say I want help, I'm gonna go Devil Deal. I'm gonna go Angel. I think there's potential chance of getting some better stuff from Angel deals anyhow. Um, so I'm gonna go for that. Yeah, you see what I mean by the second strike? Just doesn't quite feel as responsive and easy to use. I, I really think the double tap is really what you want to be using mainly on, on regular enemies. The double tap is uh is pretty good. Got another tinted rock there. We've almost got enough for shop here as well. We're getting keys on the regular as well here. I like that. Look at that. Look, look, look at that. The smack. A and more HP. I'm really, really liking the amount of red hearts we have right now. I was saying we needed more HP to be able to play around with this properly, and the game giveth. I'm just going to let you blow up. I can't hit you. I've just got to hit you with tears. I feel so basic. Pretty sure we got Tinted Rock there, but... That's in a drop secret room, but we don't have bombs. And there is another center drop right here, but there you go. I'm going to use the bomb on this. I'd rather keep our health nice and high. Lovely stuff. I realize secret room could be good, but yeah, I'm more interested in this right now. Pretty happy with our uh, smattering of items so far. We've, we're, we're very, very defensive at the moment. Here we go. We'll pop in here now that we have an extra bomb. And we get ourselves some potentially good stuff here. Yeah, plenty of extra bombs. I like that. Mini batteries are not doing much for us, but the two extra bombs I like. I do also like the fact that our um, attracting pickups thing is like pretty sh like short ranged. I don't think we can grab them over gaps though. Oh, we got enough for the shop here as well with that as well. So let's go see what I can get from the shop. Trying to picture what in the shop would be um, would be a, a, a good grab. Do you know what? I'll take a king baby. King baby isn't obviously pretty isn't really relevant right now, but there's potential chance later on that we could get something that could. Uh, Build towards something great. I'm just looking for uh, for speed. Oh, we've already killed the boss. I kind of forgot about that. <laughs> um, do you know what? Yeah, I'll go down, Paul. Why not? And we get a little hug here as well. Cute. And we did get the uh, the little pizza box here, so we'll get a little heart on the start of the next floor. Now, it could just be a red heart that we can't pick up, but there's a chance that uh, there could be something better. There you go. Like a black heart. It's beautiful. Get this. A few poopies. Do you know what? I'm going to bomb the mirror for the increased chance of reflected things dropping. Um, I'm not planning on going mirror route this time around. I have had a few people in the comments ask me if I, sh if I could go mother route and beast route more often. Beast route is probably a no. I just, I'll be honest, once I've done the beast for um, completion marks, I just don't really enjoy the beast path. It's, it's significantly, or at least feels significantly shorter. I'm not a big fan of the tainted enemies be having like that weird boss armor. Um, the ascent feels very similar every single time, and the beast as a boss just isn't really a great fight. Like, in terms of, it's just not very fitting to the theme of Isaac. So, personally, I'd rather go to Mother if I'm going to go to any alt path, but we'll, we'll sort of see how that goes. I'm going to bomb this because I would like to bomb into my boss trap room here, um, if I can. Okay. Okay. I will take Echo Chamber, thank you. It has been some time since I've been able to use an echo chamber. So we are, we are looking for another bomb. Oh, wait, wait, wait when, did we, when did we get this other bomb? Okay, we already have one. Nice. <laughs> Pop in here. And there you go. I'll take that. The extra bomb's rather nice. Boom. Took a little bit to get that charge up. Go. Oh! You, hey! Hey! Step off. Damn it. There you go. Is that just a guaranteed one-shot against bosses? Even sacrificing health, I think that was worth it. We got a fettered here. Costs us a key, but gives us an extra half soul heart. And a little ghosty boy. Okay, cool. Okay, that was really good. Um, Pills are a bit dangerous now we have Echo Chamber, because if it's anything bad, it will be recursive three or four times. So I'm going to not bother with that. Uh, but Speed Up Pill could be a, could be a game changer for us right now, I will, I will admit. We do have Curse the Magician going on right now, so random shots are, um, perming. Not particularly bad for us. We do have this condensed catnip as well, so we can go to the, um, we can go to the little shop area where we can trade our beheaded little things for, uh, different items and such, but we only have one head right now, so I'm not going to bother with that. Ah, bugger, the speed kind of screwed me over there. 
But we just keep getting health back. The game has been very, very generous to us right now. Uh, I, I like Polaris, but I don't think it really meshes very well with what we've got going on right now. So I'm going to go with that, and that is... That is absolutely incredible with Echo Chamber, so that is uh, nice to see. <laughs> Getting runes that we can reuse and reuse is uh, really good. I'm pretty sure Echo Chamber works on runes, right? I'm fairly sure it does. I might be wrong about that. It's been a very long time since I used Echo Chamber. What poop is this? Oh, right, it's just the, the Dross version of that poop, I see. What kind of poop is this? Oh, dude, these guys having Hermin is, uh, is of particular concern. Okay, luckily the, the chance for Herming, I think, is only about 15%, so it's not like a guarantee that we're, they're going to have Herming. Oh my god, I keep getting hit by all the Herming shots there. <laughs> right, shop, no thank you. Ooh, hello. Uh, uh, I, I, honestly, the trinket we started with is really good, especially considering it comes with plus one luck. Good, good. Extra bomb. Right, let's get charged up, baby. I love the fact that you can charge it before entering into the room as well. That makes this even better. Although the, the amount of speed down you get is uh, crazy. Oh, dude, really? That didn't hit? Ah, I'm going to get hit here, unfortunately. How is this not hitting? My guy. Okay, there you go. I managed to hit him with the, with the second one, and that, that did a good job. There you go, we got him. And we got another head as well, so... At this point, we can use our our, uh, our condensed catnip if we want to, but I don't, actually, to be fair, last time it sold a bunch of books. I mean, the, the problem is going to be that it'll be recursive a bunch of times, which is a little annoying, but do you know what? I'm going to do it anyways, because there is consumables you can get in here, so it's not all bad. Ooh, actually, more cards is uh, particularly good for us. Um, The Ancient Book, Book of Belial, Monster, Book of Sin, Anarchist Cookbook. Book of Shadows. I think I'm honestly going to go with Monster. Um, excuse me? Ah. Oh. Hmm. That's, um, that's kind of annoying. So apparently using that counts as a card. Ah, oh, that's, that's annoying. Okay, well, this has kind of screwed things up a little bit. Well, we're looking for an active item at the moment. That, that kind of screwed things over. Basically what happened there is I pressed Q to confirm to grab the book, but pressing Q technically used a card um, because of the way this is coded, and because of Echo Chamber, it re-teleported me to a new version of that room, so the, the head, set of heads and the item I was supposed to get disappeared. Which is really, really unfortunate, but it is what it is. But we now have this mirrored landscape card, which um, puts uh, our active into our pocket, which is a really interesting idea. The only thing is, we need an active for it to be at all valuable, which we don't currently have. We would have, we would have right now, if uh, the game hadn't have harshly stolen it away from us, but unfortunately that is our reality. Yeah, any teleport cards with, uh, with Echo Chamber are normally a bad idea. Hey, 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 hey. You get back here, you. Anzus. So I'm going to pop Anzus, it will teleport us. Wait, we got Amnesia? What? Did we take a pill at some point? Why did we get Amnesia? I'm confused. So we popped an Anzus and it didn't do anything. I'm, 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 yeah, I'm a little bit perplexed right now. Oh my god. I'm taking way too much damage right now to these goddamn enemies. These little goofballs. We 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 use an Anzus and got Curse of the Lost. The the logic of what's happening right now is uh is to be honest pretty confusing. Oh 
I'll fill this chest up. In fact, if I can, just move these goddamn things out of the way. I open, doesn't matter. Two burn hearts, lovely. I don't want this many burn hearts, to be honest, so I'm not gonna <laughs> grab all of those. I'd rather stick with the red hearts that I have. Ow. Don't want to lose them either. But yeah, I finally got rid of the teleporting, which is nice. That was uh, really screwing things up. Oh, that enemy spawned on me. I would like to fill these burn hearts, but we'll see how that goes. We will see how that goes. Ooh, lovely stuff. Get smacked, and you get fucking swiper diped. I love that. I just need more speed. I want to see how good it is with speed. Boom, boom, boom. I hope you can get this hammer as an item in this mod. I'm, I'm sure you probably can, or at least something similar to it, because I'm liking it. No thank you, troll bump. Ah, we can open this for free. We might as well open it. I was like, one key for a bomb and a penny isn't really worthwhile, but when it's literally free, it's quite worthwhile. Max, max, max. Hey, filling up those bone hearts finally. Even if it is just the one. Boom. Boom. Consume all items. Each pickup is chance to turn into a random wisp. Pedestal items grant permanent unique wisp. Ooh. Nah. It's good, but I don't think we need that in our in our roster. It's the pinchies. You can take my, away my burn hearts, but just know, I don't really care. Ooh, hello. It's been... I don't think I've ever actually fought this guy, you know. Take some damage to him, but I don't really care. Hey, look, a severed head that we can't use. <laughs> okay, down we go. Yeah, we're in a weird position with Echo Chamber right now. Really need an active item, but one is just not being thrust upon us. Which is kind of weird. Ooh, we got a planetarium this floor, though. Did we skip out on an item room at some point? I've got 20%. Thank you. I will do that, thank you. We got more burn hearts there. I'll take another burn heart, why not? A random rune, a wild card, and a little battery spawn inside boss room upon entering it for the first time. Only one of these pickups can be taken. Okay, that's actually really good because of the rune. I know we're losing luck and the ability to suck pickups from a distance, but the, the rune seems particularly of use to us here. So I'm going to take that. Sorry, earrings. You are gone to me. Oh, that was beautiful. We can get a lot of Psy Hunters, which is really nice. As we find more cards. Still don't want to use our Mirrored Landscape one, though. That would be kind of a waste. What's going on in this room, exactly? I don't really know. I think I've got... I think it's just like a little puzzle room. I've got to, like, throw this here at the right time. I've got to basically get this to push. I kind of see how it works. Right, so wait here, and then throw now. Ah, not quite, not quite. I don't know what my reward's going to be here, but... Damn it. I've got to wait until he actually starts firing to go for it, I think. There you go. Hey, nice stuff. Okay. That's kind of cool. That's a cool little puzzle room there. I like it. But it cares the lost again here. Unfortunately, that seems to be a, a recurring theme for us at the moment.
Thank you, Sai Hunter. Ah! Big... Ah. Okay, thank you for that. I'm going to go for the random. I was hoping for an... I don't know what the Busted Flare does, actually. Busted Flare. Isaac has a chance to fire tears which split into fire jets. Ooh, that's kind of nice. A double smack is the way to go here. Smack, smack. Hey, here's our planetarium. Almost forgot about that. There's our fire jets. And fire and explosion immunity for the room. Okay, we'll, we'll take that. I'll just pop, I'm just going to pop that for now. Oh, the Psy Hunter card didn't pop again. Plus one bomb coin key. Pick up a 20% chance to be upgraded. Chance to gain Holy Mantle when taking damage. Ooh, very nice. We've actually got quite a lot of pickups right now, so that works pretty well for what we've got going on. Hello there. Where's the active items, the game? There's no active planetarium items, is there? Even in modding. I think that's something people just haven't done yet, or probably won't ever do. I like the swirling effect from Echo Chamber on our character here. It looks pretty cool. Looks pretty sweet. See, there you go. Look. Oh, I didn't. I didn't actually mean to pick that up. Can't remember what the wild card does. Is that the active item one? Or is that just last used thing? Most recently used, okay. Like Fifty percent chance of an angel deal here as well. Unfortunately, we can't use our big hammer to kill Gideon. We can use it to kill these guys. Although my Psy Hunter's the one doing most of the damage here, so. Stop sucking my card up, please. Rude. We're in last wave here? Yeah, there you go. We did get an angel deal, lovely stuff. And we get ourselves 80% chance for tears to transform into weaker versions. That's not really that good for us, is it? The wild card isn't that useful for us, really, is it? Yeah, I'm just going to use it. Oh, I did use my Psy Hunter again, though. That's nice. Think we're good to go? Kind of been a bit confusing, to be honest. <laughs> been a bit confusing. I think there is two Psy Hunters there. They're just underneath each other. Low speed is going to make this a bit annoying, but not terrible. Stuff. Vintage rock there. Ow. I got a holy mantle off the back of that, though, so that's nice. And we gained a soul heart back as well. Lovely. Very defensive. Still no good active, though. Never, never normally want an active, but this time around, I'm like, come on, game. Okay, teleport card we can't go for. Oh, what the hell? Hello. <laughs> I will definitely have that, thank you. Unfortunately, it doesn't help that much with our hammer, but still. I'm not going to say no to it, am I? That would be foolish. Oh, we got a severed head for that as well. I do wonder if there's any way to, like, disable certain features. Because, like, the severed head thing's interesting, but I don't think I'd want it on all the time for regular runs. It basically is just, like, an additional way to earn more items passively, which I'm not... Mm, I don't need that, really. But for, like, obviously when I'm showcasing this mod, 
I'm happy with it. It's cool. Apparently, it's a reference to something as well. Fe fear and loathing, is it? Or fear and hunger? Or I can't remember the exact name of it. I, I don't know the exact um, thing people were referencing, but a lot of people in the comments were telling me in the last episode that there's a lot of references to uh, a specific thing. I don't want that, thank you. Gideon's gaze is good here, especially for the later flaws. Extra black hearts and nothing to deal with grimaces is re really, really nice. Right, let's charge her up. Almost got ya. Also, love the way that that card just spawned in the worst place possible. But we got a soul of Bethany, that's really nice. Oh, the head disappeared. I always forget that happens. I always forget you gotta rush to grab it. Risk reward. Little bit late, but thank you. I'm gonna check in here because we've got six seconds. If there's anything absolutely amazing, I'll take it, but otherwise I'm not that interested. Suplex is a Suplex is a pretty fun one. Just because it works really well with this character. But I'm not gonna go for it because doing the whole of Bosch Rush for Suplex without a teleport card doesn't seem great. I should have taken the uh, teleport card. I, I didn't think about Bosch Rush. I just knew it was gonna screw me over for later. Loki's horns there is rather nice. Especially with the look that we have. We've not got a crazy look, but we've got enough to make it work. Oh, that swing thing. I mean, it's destroying a hell of a lot of my uh, my wisps here, but... You win some, you lose some, I guess. Certain rooms are more applicable than others for um, a swing attack. Like, this is a good one. Golden key, thank you. This is a good swing attack one as well. Thank you, Wisps. Ooh, we like these. Ooh, King of Diamonds is an interesting one for us here. Mirrored King of Diamonds. It's, oh, shit, it's turned my boy into gold. And then, oh, he didn't die. Okay, good. I thought it was just going to kill him. <laughs> that would be a depressing way to lose him. That was a wombo combo there. The Quasar rune killed everything, and the Midas thing turned everything into gold. Not that I need the money, but the good thing is, picking up more consumables means more chance of gaining a Holy Mantle on hit, so it's not a bad thing to have more money right now. It still helps us out a significant amount. It's still good stuff. Right, one moment. Right, let's keep this sure on the road, baby. I'm enjoying it. Hey, Gideon's Gear is helping us out there. I love the fact that it affects the modded ones as well. Honestly, I think, like, if I played more Rep Plus, the biggest thing that I'd, like, find a as a downgrade, like, from not having mods on, is the Fiendfolio visuals. Fiendfolio visuals are just so good. I keep doing that. I don't, didn't actually want to pick that up. It spawns such an awkward spot from that trinket. I don't know what mod that's from, but you might want to tweak that a little bit. Um, I gained a Locust. <laughs> it's not really what I was intending to do, I just wanted to re-roll it, but I think the Quasar rune sucked it up. More fire rate is good here. Quite a lot more fire rate as well, actually. Beautiful. Give me a swing. Give me another swing. Give me a big hit. Ooh, I downgraded that guy as well. Lovely. The fire is also nice for our actual tiers as well, because we've got a, a few different tier effects which are useful. I was saying about money not being that useful, but I did also forget that we've got a shop at the start of every floor as well, which is pretty good for us right now. Good. Give me that key. Oh, that's explosive. <laughs> Probably shouldn't be getting quite that close with the spin attack, should I? Stack room is tempting. Oh, the swing attack. I don't even care if it's not taking damage here. I'm just 
gaining holy mantles a minute to win it. Beautiful stuff. Right, straight onto the boss. Let's get her charged up. Oh, that charge is so fast now with the fire rate we currently have. Not quite going to beat the last phase, unfortunately. We're gaining Holy Mantles a lot, though, which is really nice. That's saving our bacon a little bit. Beautiful stuff. The tier 2 smashes is nice sometimes. I am making more use of it than I thought I would. Honestly, the speed is worth this. And you know what? I'll play you as well. Why not? Don't take three hearts from me. Don't take four hearts from me. Oh. oh, that is depressing. I probably should have played the uh, Demon Beggar as well before doing that. It's a waste of hearts otherwise, but oh, it is what it is. One second. We did get ourselves a um, booster pack here, which is actually pretty useful for us if we can get the money together for it. Which I reckon we can. There you go, one off already. Oh, really? Okay, to be fair, this guy came into the circle. Thought I was a bit trapped there. Not going to be able to kill him. I miss my Psy Hunters. Those boys were amazing. Get back here, I'm trying to swing at you. God damn it, my, my speed was so lowered and you kept running away. Oh my god, stop running! <laughs> So hard to use that. There you go. Nice amount of money there. Right. Get that booster pack and see what we've got going on here. That's very good. Oh, I'm so stupid. <laughs> I'm so stupid. I completely forgot I still had that other card in there. That's funny. I mean, we used a good card, though. Nonetheless, we used a good card. But that was still really dumb. Hope this pays out with an item. Nope. Don't want either of those, unfortunately. Pretty sure secret room's above us. It's not? Wow, okay. Surprises me. Oh my god, that's some speed that you've got on you there, good sir. Oh wow, I might die. These guys are, uh, pretty tricky. I did not realize how much that devil deal screwed me. Hint, it was a lot. Now we gotta wait for this guy to do his shenanigans. Have your fun. Play your little game, and let us kill you. Thank you. Max Max. Oh man, we're so fucked. <laughs> I played poorly, people. My bad, my bad. Dude, am I stupid or what? There were so many hearts on the floor there. And I popped my... Oh, yeah, I'm so stupid. <laughs> There were so many hearts on the floor in that room. That, that room was basically like, here, here's your saving grace. And I was like, nah, <laughs> don't want it. No thanks, I'm full. <laughs> oh, really? I run into you as well? Wow, you nearly killed me. You did, however, double my damage. Which is very nice of you, but we are now in a pretty dire situation. Okay, thank you for that. Oh my god. We're playing it risky bisky, but we're getting through it. We're getting through it. The fires are helping as well quite a lot. I like that. This looks like secret room. Probably should be greed. It's kind of greed. Not quite, but kind of. 
Bomb. The boss is really going to test us here, I think. This guy's kind of annoying. We did get a library here. That's good. Because him being explosive. I'm a bit scared. Oh, Golden Bomb is very nice here. Adds a burn heart. Summons a hungry soul. Yeah, I'll go with the hungry soul. That might be kind of good. We'll see how that works on the boss. Oh, unfortunately, we can't really utilize this room. We do not have the health for it. There might be some health in the room, though. Nah, there isn't. Take, uh, I think I think that's take heart container damage for stat bonuses, which is good, but for us right now, just isn't worth it. We traded three soul heart, uh, three full heart containers to a guy for no good reason. All non-boss enemies are killed instantly and leave a wisp or so. Ooh, 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 I like that. Good stuff. Right, boss time. We've actually managed to refill our health entirely. Got an air wash rune here as well. Oh, dude. Dude, little ghost, you're ruining everything. I'm just trying to... Hey, how is he still alive? Just trying to charge up. Oh, man. This, this is not a hammer-focused fight, is it? Not hammer compatible. Okay, we got him. In the end, we got him. Right, let's just back out of this room and try and use this air water in somewhere useful. Um, no. I, I guess not. <laughs> that did not work. I don't know why. It didn't even create any sort of trapdoor. Nice. And nice. And nice. Okay. Ooh, Libra. An interesting one. Ah, oh, you've got to be kidding me. Massive damage down. But a huge fire rate up, though, actually, so. Although there's still the same delay on hammer slams, so. But the charge up from my spin and stuff is, uh. Getting up to max charge up now is, uh, is pretty easy. Crack it open. Give me that back. Oh, man. Been a bit of a crazy... But why is it always greed on the fucking last few laws? Always. It's always you. Oh, dude. How am I meant to get close to this? There's so much going on. There you go, I got him, I got him. Chill out with all these nubbins, please. Okay, got them. And you as well, okay. We're killing bosses at alarming speeds, but the, the closeness of which we have to get is, uh, causing things to be a little sketchy. Oh my god, the speed increase on that is insane. Having higher speed is, uh, maybe a little too much to control, to be honest. This is difficult. Yeah, a lot of damage there I probably shouldn't have. My god, look at the amount of fellas we gained. I like being able to just hit these guys over the top of the thingies there. Makes life a lot easier. You're dead, good sir. Angelic Prism's been pretty good for us as well, this run. I like that. Having flight is nice for the anti-creep. I really just wanted the speed, but the flight is coming in handy too. Kidney stones, I really don't know how we'll work with this in terms of hammer slams. Because if it when it's normally a charge thing, it doesn't auto-charge, so it might just automatically charge us up to the max, which would not be good. Okay, no, we can still use our hammer independent of our kidney stone. 
which is good. Ah, and I forgot Kidney Stone works really interestingly with Libra. I always forget about that. On three hearts remaining here, so... Ooh, I say that, we just get a two heart there. Whoa, look at that little face he made there. You little memers need to calm down. <gasps> Ooh, that's a good one to be able to reuse over and over. Nine lives is not what we want right now, but as a last ditch effort, we could take it, I guess. Probably don't want to, to be honest, because that'll just mean doing the fight over and over and over again at one heart, which will not work out for us. <laughs> oh my god, I love it when there's so many enemies clustered. Ah, I didn't drop any hearts, bastard. Degas, though. I like the gas. Apple of Pride giving us a ton of stats because I'm pretty sure they're stacking here. Yeah, I'm not opening this up. I'm just going to kill them all from here. The simple way. And then I'll open this up to get the chest. Ah, oh, why you got to take forever? Damn. Fills empty pedestals. I don't have empty pedestals. I've removed them from the game. So that, that active item, despite being quality 4, does literally nothing for my my game. Slightly annoying. You should really do a check to see if you have that mod and just add the pedestals back in if you're using, if you're holding tech dice. I know that they shouldn't really have to account for that, but it is a pretty popular mod from what I understand, the empty pedestals mod. So it's like, it would be a nice idea to have some level of interaction with it. Ooh, Tony could be pretty good for us here. Also, have you seen the amount of the floor that I cleared and missed that single room that was the correct path? That's kind of absurd. That's a little bit silly billy. Oh my god. Yeah, and then we, we fucking turn it up, baby. We get the, th the fists from Tony still work with the uh, hammer slam as well. That's a combo I didn't expect. Slam slam. And we'll do a swing swing for you. Okay, we found the boss. Get a big hammer charged up. We got our second secret room here as well. Check what we got going on here. Not a whole lot. Okay. Go time. Right, get this charged up first. I, with boss armor, I doubt it's going to do a ton of damage. But, yeah, it doesn't do a lot. Nice. A lot of collective shit going on here. We managed to get through that first phase very, very quickly. And look at the amount of little fellas we've got on him right now. <laughs> Beautiful. I right, can get a, a full charge here for the next phase. Boom. Yes. I'm going to go for another full charge. It's a little risky, but I'm going to try it. Yeah, to finish him off as well. Beautiful. Right, there you go, baby. Honestly, I've got to say, that was an immensely fun character. Definitely on the stronger side, but the, considering the range applications and the speed that you have, it's difficult. It's still not easy. So I think fairly balanced. Probably skewing on the, on the easier side, but definitely still balanced. I enjoyed it a lot, and I hope you guys did too. I'll see you guys in the next one.